Hello, Fabio Sir. Who are you? And I have you on the flash, the good, the bad, and the lucky. And in, in this uh, Becky Sharp, and he gets uh, reintroduced, and yes, he somehow knows about Crisis. I guess he never wrote it in the talk to the to the writer of that, or they forgot that only a certain amount of people remember Crisis. Anyway, I went Becky at first her look was actually working for her, but when uh Jason Gates or boyfriend says on the bad look as he gets it framed for supposed murder of her boyfriend says he's in a coma. And Jesse called the uh, Captain the the Captain Spivet is it the woman in charge of the Central City Police, I forget her name now, but remember, for a lawyer and see who is a seal. And this is also an episode that has uh, Barry and Iris uh, in near the beginning and near the end. An episode, so Barry and Iris light episode, so. Mm. I think one or two of those were kind of good. Like, I like the, the, uh, the focus on the Cisco. So. Mm. And, uh, you see that those try to help uh, Becky with the, um, get the hand from the Allegra, but she does say uh, preoccupied since she's supposed to uh, take a train to where Joe and uh, Camilla, well, no, not Camilla, uh, uh, Jenna, uh, and make Jenna her uh, uh, birthday breakfast. Um, when, uh, uh, Becky's just like a kidnapped and she'll try to her powers but they're a bit wonky and at first they think it's probably because uh, of uh, Becky's uh, uh, look powers but when Allegra actually uh, use, use her powers they're working okay and you say at the end it's because of a uh, of the uh, seal's uh, emotional state, I didn't even know that since the begin when I when I, when I first started. It's kind of obvious, but hmm. Uh, yeah, spoilers. Turns out the person who tried to kidnap her in that was uh, her brother-in-law, since he has a lot of gambling debt, and that forced her to keep uh, playing blackjack with him for money. And they do mention the gambler in, in this episode when the law was saying that uh, Becky's fiance is known as D Gambler. Yeah, I heard that in the comic books, Becky's actually the daughter of the Golden Age uh, villain or JJ Evan the Gambler. So, um, I just reference to that. And, uh, Elagra does have a good talk with uh, Lucille when she just. Uh, feeling like she's failing as mother Anna here since she's just been sleeping in her office and, fe and just uh, feeling alone. So, yeah, but they do that. Uh, stop uh, Becky's brother in law. And then she actually uh, uh, invites uh, Allegra to stay with her in the big house. I mean, we uh, Chill Blaine, he and uh, Chuck uh, try to figure out what the uh, Keon's powers are, and the uh, Chill Blaine does that set on trying to get uh, Keon to use that uh, Frost's ice power, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be that. And I do have a reference to the first Tobey Maguire Spider movie, and when uh, Keon was saying, Go Frost, go! For a hand, so... Hmm. And turn out... The... The... Uh, chill Blame was just uh, Trying to get... Kill you know, to use uh, the Frost powers. But he feels that's the only... Uh, thing left of Frost, but... Kill you know, just uh, tell him that it isn't, and... There's still power of Frost in him and that. 
So, yeah. And near the end, uh, Team Flash, as you, as you call a whole the baby shower for Iris and the uh, Barry. Yeah, they take her uh, at a party for Central City Citizen in, in, in Coast City. And I don't know if they just mentioned the baby, I don't remember if they mentioned the, the baby moon or they, they're already going to it or plan to, so yeah. And I think the end is pretty interesting since uh, Chuck actually revealed that the Keon doesn't have any like, dark matter in her and didn't the uh, fully human since he only has uh, 156 uh, bio scans or some that humans also have. I forget what that actually is. No, it's only 56 and but that's, that's all. And that's what leaves uh, everybody, including the uh, you know, wondering what she is. Yeah, I think this uh, episode was okay. I think the acting in that is uh, good as always, but I think the only uh, thing that's interesting is the very end of the episode. And I do think that the that was playing uh, uh, Becky was a uh, Kinda good, but it's in one of my favorite uh, characters of the show. I think it would have made a decent uh, Hardy Quinn, but this is my opinion. Um, also, let's see, most stuff for the Lucille deck. It's a uh, kind of good. And, uh, I don't know if uh, Nephew is gonna go. Going to like the color, uh, color blue, uh, storyline, or just doing another episode that's not connected to any other storyline, but whatever. The scene's gonna be a bit, bit creepy since Iris is worrying she's gonna lose her baby. And, uh, yeah, I do think the stuff with, uh, the seal and the is kind of good and stuff with. And Allegra and that uh, Chuck it was just okay, but yes, he blew off uh, the fixing Allegra's uh, pipes to help uh, Chill Blame find out what Keon's powers are. And yeah, you did kind of expect that uh, some like uh, Allegra to move out of her apartment, she said, because he uh, hates her landlord. Or just or the landlord just annoys him, annoys her, but. Ugh. I don't know. You know so next episode is uh, better than this. I don't know if uh, anybody else will find it's a mediocre episode or the worst episode of the season so far, but yeah, and I wonder what the Keon is since I hear that the guy in charge saying that he's an important uh, character. So, I guess we're going to see. Uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys. Later.